So it's time for Jay and I, and the lovely Miss G joins me again. Miss G. Yes, that's me. So away. we're talking about the cuts later on join Jay and I, but you can join the conversation from your home as join news on TV, both on Facebook and on Twitter. So after the shocking robbery murder that occurred in broad daylight at Abakala Pass, the Inspector General of Police has issued a 10,000 CD reward for anyone who has information that will lead to the arrest of the suspected armed robbers. I'm asking if you had one of your relatives, a suspect or friend close to you, would you turn him in for a 10,000 reward? Um, yes, I, yes, not on the basis of the money as, as such, but I think that, um, I will have to own him up because what he has done, I have to look at the broader picture and um, so that, yes, I'll have to own him up because this might not be the last time. Who might know? Maybe somebody in the house or someone else. So I think that for me, looking not the money as such, but we have to own such a person now for the Lord to take his course. I know, I know. It will be very difficult giving him up, you know. I will just try to sit him down and then give him some advice. I'll coach him on what to do next time and what not to do. I let him understand that such a life is not good. You should stop, you stop doing such stuff. And if he continues, it's when I'll give him up. Because like, this, this will be the first time I'm getting to know, know that he does such stuff. So um, definitely, it will be very difficult giving him up. Um, yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> So I can't wait to hear people, you know, telling, uh, telling people that, uh, you know, I know somebody who is a suspect and let's go grab them for some reward. Not for this one in particular, but I doubt if anybody, <laughs> anybody will hand over yeah, there. Yeah, but let's Relative. what people are saying. Joseph, this life, Atuenab, interesting name, mm -hmm. and says, criminal is criminal. Whether my family or not, I will report to the police. I will not give the info because of the police, but because of what the law says. If the police can't give themselves protection, what about the civilians? They know how to collect money from people. They don't know how to fight armed robbers. Insecurity government at large. So oh, that's from Joseph. Bayer Jeremiah writes, I will do that fast without any delay before he or she is even declared wanted by the police. Not because of the money, but as part of my civic responsibility. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we must report criminals to the appropriate authorities so that we can weed them out of our society. The activities affect everyone. And Alain Yorige Ayangba John says, will that reward bring back the life of the police officer? Let's wake up as a nation. Use that reward to resource your men to protect them against future attacks, Mr. IGP. Seriously missing Kofi Boache. How I wish she was the IGP. And Simon says, the lawlessness, killing with impunity, and increased crime wave is worrying. I would voluntarily report him or her without any reward expected. That is the bounty placed by the IGP. Now, people are saying across things. Now, it thinks bad is what you're saying. What's wrong with that is after 60 years, we can't keep our surroundings clean. President Akufuadu has promised to make Accra the cleanest city in the African continent. And uh, for the first time, we've had a dedicated sanitation minister to make that promise come true. Well, is he working? Do you feel he has planned to read the city of Phil? What has he done so far? Let me pause here. Let's watch a short clip of a report filed by my colleague Matilda Vemega. Took a walk to the refuse dump, which has now become the dumping grounds for filth for many parts of the city. We counted at least 20 mini refuse trucks, about two of load refuse they have collected from surrounding communities. They are charged two cities by people who manage the landfill sites. Nathaniel is one of the managers of this place. It is not a permanent stuff. It's not permanent. But this has been on for yes. close to six years, yes. like you said. Because the reason why we are doing it, we are doing this thing is that we are doing a reclamation. We don't get support from government. We don't get support from anybody. So we ask, where is the sanitation minister, Kofi Ada? 
One way or the other, hmm, talking about sanitation in, in this country, you will blame everybody from A to Z. Sometimes I even blame the Zoom lion. They, 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 they don't help the government at all. For instance, when you go to a place like Odoko, and people just go bring the refuse from their home and come and dump it inside the city or even inside the road, the pavement. And Zoom lion every day will spend government money buying diesel and then making sure they will come and clear the place for the place to be fine. I, I wish one day they will leave it at least for a week. And the people who brought it, they themselves will feel the pain. And when that, such a thing happens, I don't think they will go in there and do such a thing again. So I believe it is everyone's responsibility, the minister, the government, and we, we the, we the people, the citizens, we are, it is our, everybody's responsibility that we make sure the city will be kept clean. Yeah, um, since this sanitation ministry was really created, I've really not seen any work being done by the minister, frankly speaking, because um, right at our doorstep, moving from here to Legon, the, the stink is too much. And, you know, it's becoming too much. It's really become, for me, I think the sanitation minister is not working. Looking at the fields around, even in Kwame Nkrumah circle, at broad daylight, you could see rubbish all over. So I think it's not working because we must see certain actions. So recently, the AMA came with this phone numbers as and when you see a rubbish, you should snap it. And, but we are not seeing any results. Frankly speaking, we are not seeing any, the country is very, very dirty, especially Accra, very, very dirty. So for me, the sanitation minister is not really working because we are not seeing the results of you know, six months or seven months, nothing is really happening. Frankly speaking, I think they must be up. They must be up. Our leaders are not to be trusted, so I'm not surprised at all. Not... It's all about our lifestyle, the kind of life that we are living. As a people, people eat themselves anyhow. We eat food and we throw the, the waste anyhow. In the gutters, we just dump them just like that. At the end of the day, it is going to smell. And when these things are happening in the society, I don't think it is healthy for us. So no matter what, these are the kind of scents that we are going to smell in the society. So that, I think uh, we just need to change our lifestyle and our attitude. That is all I think. So Araba, where is the sanitation minister? He's in his office. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you can find him. <laughs> okay. okay. So um, comments on Facebook uh, do has sung bash right i can remember seeing the sanitation minister on joy news prime last week when they were scooping some drains i think he's working we applaud joy news for helping identify this heap of rubbish which i'm optimistic will be conveyed soon but don't let it don't but let's don't make it look as if the minister is on slumber let's appreciate and encourage why uh adin black uh mckean says sometimes we need leaders who look up to the problems and confront citizens, confronting citizens and find solutions to them rather than sitting in offices and guessing and writing figure of progress to make the negative situation seem uh, correct in the eyes of the international community in the name of a research conducted, quote unquote. My question is, are these our leaders blindfolded when attending international meetings where they uh, prefer spending holidays there? Can they also think like their white colleagues who attend the same summit and that's the question that you are asking Yaboa Solomon is says uh, this one to are we waiting for our so-called development partners again if it would be possible let's go to the refuse dump and collect the refuse to the various ministries that will pump some sense into their heads <laughs> because the nonsense, nonsense is too much mm. well, I don't think you want to do that Yaboa. not at all but first it was Will and Jada Smith, who named their daughter Willow, then Gwyneth Paltrow named her daughter Apple. As for Kenya and Kim West, they named their children North and Saint. David and Victoria Beckham named their firstborn son Brooklyn. But Beyonce and Jay Z are in the comfortable lead. Their twins have been named Rumi and Sir. Yes, her daughter is Rumi and her son is Sir Carter. Sir. I can't think far. Help me out. What do you think about these interesting celebrity names? Um, with the airways, the way they used to give name to their children, they used to name their children, some of them praise, some of them worship, some of them singing, even some of them favor. And even the one I heard was Elikim. Is it Elikim or Elikim? Elikim Star. And so it's a little strange giving birth to a child and thinking you want them to be brightened like the star or the sun or the whatever, then you give those names. At least 
people should be able to understand the name that you are giving so easily. And it is even good to be able to identify your child. I think they just want their children to be identified in a society with their names. Because their parents are maybe celebrities, popular people in a society. So they just want their children also one way or the other to, um, to, to, to go by that way so that little people can easily identify them. Uh, I think she giving that name, you know, celebrities are very, very rough. So that's the perception out there. They're very rough. So I'm not surprised she's giving those names. But for me, I think those names um, have sometimes have bad repercussion on there on the children, on how they really... Fight, uh, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, anyone and, and then how they want to name their child. Some people want the local names, other ones uh, foreign names and all those stuff. Myself, I do want my local name, so I've changed my English name to my local name, so I now use my local name, that is what I also, it's, it depends on everyone and the choices. Maybe greater one of whom I know here, at Accra Poly here, I know of also of a name, mm, greater, uh, greater dimension, have you gotten it? I've never heard it before. Uh, something, I, I heard some time ago, Petuni. Okay, so I believe that celebrities, by the nature, by the, by the nature of their work, they want to be famous. So they will assume strange names or weird names so that that popularity will rise. That's why I think. So, Araba, <laughs> the first guy killed me. He says we the Evers, we name our children, praise, worship, and sing singing. It. How? How? I mean, how? <laughs> praise you all. Oh, Charlie, he finished us crown. Okay, <laughs> let's see what uh, some of our viewers are saying. Uh, Shif Manosei said, uh, Rumi and said, it's simple, oh, David Dianolik <laughs> is the name of my brother's daughter who was born in Russia. Hmm, like seriously, I love my name, Shivman Bruta. And Banton Noor Betty says, Curtis James Jackson, common, n commonly known as 50, 50 Cent. This guy's name is Sweet Me. When I think of his name, um, um, then make money or die, still trying to come to my mind. So you like 50 Cent's uh, uh, original name, which is Curtis James Jackson. And um, Shivman believes Rumi and Sekata mm. are very simple names. Mm -hmm.